going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael on this Tuesday evening. I'm running a little bit behind schedule and by a little bit I mean uh, almost three hours. Two hours, 45, 47 minutes. Usually I start working out like right at 4 p.m. But I had to go out of town today uh, for a doctor's appointment and uh we didn't get home until almost four. It was three something, almost four. And uh, so when I got home, I had to take a nap. I was worn out. And uh, so we're gonna do kind of a later workout than normal. If you kept up with my video from Monday, uh, I'm doing a lighter week this week. I'm only doing about five or six sets of some flat bench and we're only going up to whatever I feel like going up to which won't be much so I'm just kind of I'm kind of giving myself one of those easy weeks so we got the bar ready to go we got everything set up so let's go ahead and get it going guys because I'm ready to be done <clears throat> Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, guys, let's get the workout going here. As you can see, like I, like I mentioned, we got 135 here. So let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, so today at my doctor visit, I did have the doctor talk to me and kind of explain some things a little bit better, it seemed like. Uh, than the doctor that, that I was seeing before that I seen a couple times in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, he kind of went over some things and kind of talked to me and he actually kind of, you know, gave me a little exam, you know, touching here and there, at certain spots, you know, don't, don't uh, get your mind crazy there. You know what I'm saying? So kind of going over things and he don't seem to think that my problem that I'm having with my low blood platelet count is uh, a cancer risk he don't really believe that he thinks it's something else uh, he showed me uh, some numbers in that from my previous blood work that I just had done uh, in February uh, from my primary care doctor and uh, he showed me some numbers on some things and he was talking about the different blood cells the white the red versus the platelets or something like this I hope I'm saying it correct but he said that my white and my red blood cells are perfectly fine and that the only thing he's seeing is kind of the low blood platelet count. And he said normally if it's something serious that your white and your red blood count is also affected. But he said mine look perfectly normal. Now keep in mind this has been going on right at almost two years now so i would assume that you know i'm gonna try and be somewhat positive and say that maybe if something was really wrong it may would have shown its little ugly head by now so i mean it i'm still concerned of course but i'm trying to let myself kind of have a little uh a little bit of relief here and uh, not be too overly worried and uh so we did they did a lot of blood work and they're doing some extensive blood work and uh so then i go back in uh, early june for uh, some more work another checkup and more blood work and uh, they wanted to do it just a little bit before then but i wanted to wait until we were out of school and so uh, i drive school bus and i don't like to miss work so anyway so that's kind of where we're at and he says the the problems that I'm having with my fingers being dry and cut open, he said, could have something to do with uh, eczema or something like that or whatever he said. I don't know if it's eczema. It's psoriasis. It might have been psoriasis. I don't remember. Um, and he, it was just a guess. You know, he wasn't saying for certain. He said it, it might could be. But, you know, I, I told him I read a, a thing online where it's also, uh, it has to do with, you know the issues that I'm having and it could be a sign of cancer so he said he'll look into that and uh, see what he comes up with and what have you so anyway I mean you know 
uh, it's just another step in trying to figure all this mess out and uh, you know may maybe we'll get somewhere with it at some point so and hopefully it just don't get any worse you know that would be nice I can deal with this as long as it don't get any worse you know worse being worst case scenario cancer so we don't want to have that to happen to any of us I've seen it and it's not pretty so anyway guys as you can tell right here back onto the workout just for a minute I did go up to 315 today even on my light easy day I wanted to get it at 315 and uh, I got five reps and just like tomorrow when I do deadlifts I'm gonna go up to 315 and do X amount of reps so I, you know I don't want to go too light and easy on myself but I don't want to go stupid and all out like I usually do. So you just got to kind of find that medium ground that you want to go to and you feel comfortable with. And that was 315. So, and you'll notice something here. I'm going to drop on down to 135 and we're just going to do kind of a little burnout set here of 20. So, uh, at least, hey, something good happened today. We did meet up with my nephew when we went out of town. He lives in the in that town that we went to, Clarksville, Tennessee. And uh, we had a, a nice lunch, a little bit later lunch, but it was still amazing. Uh, it was, okay, it was good. I don't know if it was amazing, but it was good. We ate at a Longhorn Steakhouse and had a nice steak and potato and all that good stuff. So, pretty good stuff, guys. So... I appreciate everybody sticking around my channel and hanging out and trying to build this nice community and I got some good people in here that uh, take part and I appreciate everybody even the people that just randomly pop in and uh, I appreciate everybody I really do and uh, you know if I give you a little inspiration maybe you could like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down and don't forget get up get out get rad and do it to it We'll see y'all later, which will probably be tomorrow. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!